Hi everyone and welcome to the Nevada Child Seekers Virtual Classroom. Today's subject is Human Trafficking Awareness, High School Health Class Presentation. This presentation is brought to you by the United States Department of Education, one of our many partners. I will be presenting today. My name is Margarita Edwards. I'm the Executive Director for Nevada Child Seekers. So human trafficking to many people is a topic that sometimes we do not want to think about, of course. But in reality, it is happening in every town, every city, every state, every country around the world. Today we're going to learn the tactics of the predators or the pimps, ways that we can report it, how to recognize it, and most importantly, how to be empowered. What is human trafficking? Human trafficking is modern day slavery. It involves exploiting a person through force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of forced labor, commercial sex, or both. Victims of human trafficking include men, women, boys, and girls. It's very important to recognize that it can happen to anyone. So how does it happen? There's three different styles that the predators use. They can use force, like violence, or threat of violence. They can use fraud, letting the victim know that there is a debt that they have to be forced to pay back. They can have deceitful labor recruitment, such as modeling agencies, or promise of a better life in another country, money, things of that sort. Coercion, that's emotional manipulation, threat of law enforcement, maybe you're here illegally and they're letting you know that they will call the police to get you deported, things like that. So remember, force, fraud, or coercion are the three types that the predators use in their victimization. Trafficking victims are kept in bondage through a combination of fear, intimidation, abuse, and psychological controls. What does a human trafficker look like? They can be anyone. They target vulnerable children by frequenting locations where children con congregate, such as malls, schools, bus stops, train stations, group homes, the internet. They recruit through Facebook, Instagram, and other social mediums. They also use their peers or classmates who befriend the target and slowly groom the child for the trafficker by bringing the child along to parties and other activities. This is something we need to really explain to our young people. It's not usually the person driving around in a van trying to jump out and kidnap people. They will use other classmates to lure their victims. They will create seemingly loving and caring relationships with their victims in order to establish trust, dependence, and allegiance, thus making their child target even more vulnerable. Think about if you've ever seen this happen in your life, with your friends, in your friends' relationships. It's important to pay attention. One of the most common variations of this is a romantic relationship. A trafficker often will spend time slowly isolating and convincing a child of his or her love before selling that child for sex. Gorilla pimps versus Romeo pimps. A gorilla pimp will use force, trauma, and abuse to force their victims into trafficking. A Romeo pimp will try to make that victim fall in love with them. Once they feel that the victim is in love with them, then that's when the real pain begins. Please reach out. If you know of someone who is being hurt, please reach out for help. Spotting a trafficker is tricky. They're great actors. They will customize their behavior according to their target. 
They love to sell the dream, especially to children, especially to our young people. So if you're on social media, sharing about how you wish you could run away, most likely a predator will be the first one to let you know they have an option for you or a ticket or a bus ride or a plane ticket somewhere else so you can get away. Pay attention to that. Don't fall for it. They're very vague. Their promises never have clear information. Threats, they intimidate to get what they want. This can usually happen after you think you're in a relationship with them. They turn on you. Or they can promise you conditional love. If you love me, you'll do this for me. Remember, love should never hurt. They will also look for people who love money. Low risk, high reward, like crime. Remember, it's not just females that are victims. They will reach out to males. Most traffickers are great listeners. They do this because they want to learn their victim. They will send gifts to see if you'll receive them. When you receive a gift from a trafficker, you've let them know that the door is open for them to eventually harm you. They seem like control freaks, meaning they get jealous very easily. Something that you thought was not a big deal, like having male friends or f other female friends, they get extremely jealous. Things to spot in a trafficker. This is also things to spot in an abusive relationship. So who gets trafficked? Though there is no standard profile of a child trafficking victim, several risk factors make certain children more successful. Reports indicate that the trafficker often targets children and youth with a history of sexual abuse, dating violence, low self-esteem, and minimal social support. In our world, one out of eight endangered runaway youths is likely a victim of human trafficking. That is why Nevada Child Seekers works hard to find them before they become a victim. Possible risk factors associated with child trafficking include the following, lack of personal safety, isolation, emotional distress, homelessness, poverty, family dysfunction, substance abuse, mental illness, learning disabilities, developmental delay, childhood sexual abuse, promotion of sexual exploitation by family members or peers, lack of social support. Signs of trafficking. Traffickers will brand their victims, meaning they will put a label on them to let other traffickers know you belong to them. Brands like tattoos, being a controlling boyfriend or girlfriend, signs of domestic violence or abuse, under the influence, using drugs, keeping you high, keeping the victim in a state of isolation. They have behavior issues, frequent runaways, avoids eye contact with males, luxury items without signs of source of income, refillable bank cards. All of these are signs of trafficking. Parents, this is really important for us to pay attention to. You never know when one of our children could be victims of trafficking. Please talk to your children. Keep an open line of communication. The media on human trafficking they do make it seem very dark, and it is very dark and scary. But what's being sold to our children is luxury, a life of money, basically a dream. Many of our children don't even realize that they're victims of trafficking until they're older and until it's too late. We have to tell our kids the truth. Traffickers can be other children. Traffickers can be family members, neighbors people that we already know, please pay attention to who's around your child. Once victimized, identifying him or her can prove difficult for a variety of reasons. The victim's reluctance to disclose a problem due to a sense of shame and fear, the stigma associated with forced prostitution, the power of control of the trafficker's seduction and manipulation, 
the victim's inability to recognize that he or she is a victim and therefore is unwilling to seek help. The impact of human trafficking to the individual. Each victim has a different experience, but experiences often share common threads due to the nature of the crime. Trafficking victims live under the control of their trafficker, subject to fear, abuse, and denial of their basic human rights. Sex trafficking has devastating consequences, including long-lasting physical and psychological trauma, trouble in school, disease, STDs, drug addiction, unwanted pregnancies, malnutrition, social ostracism, and death. If you are a victim of human trafficking, it is not your fault. There is help and we believe you. The impact of human trafficking on the family, runaway children, recruitment of children and other siblings, selling children, organ theft is actually something that really does happen in the United States, financial loss, PTSD, death of a loved one, affects the following generations. The effect of human trafficking on a family has many different aspects and many different far-reaching results. It does have a ripple effect. Now the impact of human trafficking on society. These numbers are going to really show why human trafficking is in every city, every state, every country around the world. There are 27 million victims of human trafficking and modern day slavery in the world. Financially speaking, human trafficking is a burden on the economy because it is a problem that operates so effectively under the radar, it is difficult to pinpoint how much trafficking costs America. Nationally, there are between 244,000 to 325,000 American youth at risk for social exploitation and sex trafficking every single year. So here's how you protect yourself. Be smart when you're online and follow basic internet safety rules. Don't talk to people you don't know. Don't send personal private information or images that can be used against you in the future. This is so important for our young people. If you're homeless or in a dangerous situation, get help. There are countless organizations and adults available to help with providing food, shelter, and all things you need. You are not alone. Be aware of false job opportunities or traveling alone. Someone offering to send you a bus ticket, telling you to keep this relationship a secret. Those are red flags. Learn about healthy relationships. Being able to identify the difference between a healthy relationship and an unhealthy relationship will allow you to set boundaries and avoid manipulation. We will also have a new workshop on how to recognize healthy relationships. That's coming soon. Now, we've shared with you how to get help. These are our resources here in Nevada and nationally. But once again, if you are in fear of your safety for any reason, maybe it's not child trafficking, maybe it's abuse, neglect, please call 911 and get help. We really support the Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth. You can call them in Nevada at 702-383-1332. Nationally, if you wanna report human trafficking, you can call the Human Trafficking Hotline, 1-888. 3737-888. We also want to share with you our friends, Free International, who we work with and help us rescue our trafficking victims here in Nevada and all over the country. You can call them at 702-423-6105. Thank you for watching. And remember, this was brought to you by the De United States Department of Education and we hope it was beneficial. We hope you learned something and we encourage you to share this workshop. This is Margarita Edwards, the Executive Director of Nevada Child Seekers. Thank you for watching.